So Blue's Clues has released their Pride Parade sing-along song. And a lot of people are shocked and didn't know this, but Blue's Clues also mentioned Pride in a Alphabet song. And they actually, a week ago, had this video up, celebrating Pride Month with Blue and Josh opening mail. But what I've noticed, there isn't a lot of yet. And I'm happy it's not happened already it's gonna happen but i'm one of those people that loves to see people just get completely bent out of shape over the fact that things like this exist such as this one this is his anger over the abc song hey friends this is ken smith and i want to thank you for watching transforming lives it should not be a surprise by now that the enemy has a target on your children how do we know that? Well, recently in one of the new cartoon series that came out for Blue's Clues, Teaching the Alphabet, they decided to use that as a propaganda to instill their liberal ideas in your child's heart. In fact, we know what the Bible says about our hearts and how we should guard it. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, the Bible says these words, Guard your heart above all else, for it is the source of life. Got it. Every still frame you can make of this, the guy looks the same. I love how the argument always goes down to, but my book. So what do Blue's Clues do in teaching the alphabet? Well, when they get to the letters, A is for Apple, B is for Bumblebee, all of those things would be fine, but then they get to the letter P, and for P it says P is for, and then it comes up with all the different flags for the homosexual community, the bisexual community, transgender all of the different things that they're embracing. It says P is for pride. You see, what is happening is that the enemy knows that it, they can sneak this type of message into the home where most parents would not be paying attention to it, but our children are like sponges. They absorb everything. So we must, as parents, be very careful. You mean like when you push your book on them? Careful in what we allow our children to watch. We also need to let them know from an early age that God has created them, that there is only male and female. We need to let them know that God loves them. Is that the message of Angry Birds? <laughs> is that the message of Angry Birds? Because that's the description, that's the example show. Regardless if they're a little boy or a little girl, that God has value in them and that there is only two genders. We need to stop trying to sexualize. I remember, what, what passage in the Bible has those two listed, by the way? Like, like, where does it say there's only two in the Bible? As our children, and that's what the enemy is doing. The liberal left is going about trying to sneak this message in. And before, we might not have seen it. This is sneaky. This is somehow sneaky. This is also sneaky. Coming, but now they are so bold about it. Here's a clip of that alphabet song, and see for yourself how they are so cute about it. In fact, they want you to think that it's all natural. My friends, it is nothing natural about it. Stand for the truth, fight for the truth, and understand at the end of the day, the truth will prevail. It is natural. Science says that your book might say differently. Your interpretation of your book might say differently. but. It's natural and we must guard our children against this enemy god bless you and thank you for watching transforming lives is outstanding one of a kind and he is full of pride this man made a two minute and 24 second video angry about a three minute and 44 second alphabet song over something that appeared on screen for a couple seconds. But as I said, there hasn't been any, as far as I can tell, any hate videos yet. I've seen some hate comments on Twitter, but that's about it. I do wonder if uh, this man, this Ken Smith, is going to make an update on it. I mean, he's talking about Oh, jeez. He's against vaccines. Of course he is. He has opinions on how the army should be run. Of course he does. Because, you know. Oh, he's angry about 
some shoes. Yeah. This guy's gonna make a video on this. Oh. Oh, I I can't wait. I I, I, I get a little bit of joy personally watching the videos of these people when they have their little fits and then no one believes them or supports them like they're a dying breed like if we scroll down literally the top comment is calling him out second comment calls him out third comment calls him out fourth comment calls him out even on his own channel